And we are now going to expand our program a bit by adding another button to the form. We're going to name the button yellow, but BT in yellow. And when the user clicks on that button, it's going to change the background to yellow. And in addition, both buttons, by clicking them, will also change the text property of the form. So what we have to do is to add a second button to the form. I do that by double clicking on the button in the toolbox and then dragging it to the form to size them so that the two buttons are equal in size. I can also move them around. If I want to move them together, I just drag the mouse over both of them and then I can move them both around. So this button must have the text yellow on it, so I'm going to change its text property to yellow. And I'm going to change its name to BTN yellow. If we now run the program and we click on blue, the background turns blue. If I click on yellow, nothing else happens. That is because we must still add the code to the yellow buttons. Click event handler. Previously, when we wanted to open the click event handler, we double clicked on the button. There's another way in which we can do this. Make sure the yellow button is selected and then click on the little lightning bolt over here. So if you click on the spanner again, you see the properties. If you click on the lightning bolt, you see the list of possible event handlers that you can use with this control. So there's the click event and if I double click on it, it also opens the click event handler. Okay, so the code that we want in here is the code to turn the background color of the form yellow and we want to change the text to yellow. And those lines are very similar to the ones we had in the button blue click event handler. So we can just copy and paste them. So I highlight them, I say control C, I click between the two brackets. It's very important that you place the code in between the two brackets that show the beginning and the end of this event handler. And then I say paste control V. Okay. So now the code looks exactly the same. So if I now run the program and I click on the yellow button, it will also make the background blue and the text blue. So I have to type yellow over here and here the string yellow for the text property. Right, so that is our how we then handle it. If I run the program now and I click on the yellow button, the background turns yellow and the text property also changes to yellow. If I click on blue, the text property changes to blue and the background changes to blue. And that is the whole program.